Ooh. Right, okay, I'm guessing by now you've worked out what I'm going to have a go at. Um, I'm going to have a go at cleaning this up. This old axe head that uh, Honor gave me from Dyes and Every Film Customs. Um, quite excited to give it a go. Never done anything like this before. And as you've seen in the previous footage, I've, I had it soaking for more or less 48 hours in just regular household white vinegar. You'll see though that this edge isn't very good at all and there's a lump knocked off there. So what I'm going to try and do is just smooth that off as best I can gently uh, with you know re removing as little as possible to keep that ha as much of that hardened edge as I possibly can. And obviously doing it nice and carefully not to ruin the not to ruin the hardened edge. But anyway, uh, I'll get on with the grinding and what have you now and see what we get. Right, okay, we've just done a few minutes grinding. Um, I've uh, I decided to put a bit more of a round on it, just to try and get rid of the chip that was in it. Um, I'm not imperfect, but I think I'm not going to go any further on that until I've started looking at cleaning the face up a bit. I mean, as you can see, it loses quite a bit of the hardened edge. Um, this is the side that the chip out of it and this is the side <coughs> that I've ground down a little bit but as you can see it loses quite a bit of that hardened edge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the face of it now um, get all this cleaned up and just see how we go because I mean I've never done anything like this before so I don't want to waste too much time on one area when I know I can come back to that uh, further down the line if need be so Thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sanding wheel, one of them flappy sanding wheel things on uh, my angle grinder, clamp it down to the bench and give it a go with that, see how we get on. <coughs>
already you can see what a massive difference that has made I mean clearly there's still a lot of dings and pits in it but, um, just I mean the, the wheel I've put on is actually a 40 grit and I'm actually quite amazed how smooth that 40 grit fit, fit. I'm quite amazed how f f bloody hell fire what's the matter with me I'm quite amazed how smooth that 40 grit finish is uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a bit of time and see if I can get these uh, deeper dings out and see where I can get this that that already after a few minutes of grinding is quite encouraging so I'm going to crack on right I've gone over the whole thing with the 40 disc 40 grit disc sanding wheel on my grinder that's one side of it I mean it's still quite dingy but these pit this pitting is actually really quite deep but the other side there's the edge of it quite good and the other edge pretty good but then the other side of it really really clean there's a deep one there I couldn't manage to get out it's still a bit hot this <laughs> Uh, but I'm really pleased even at a 40 grit even though it's scratched up to hell it's really smooth I'm, I'm actually really surprised how smooth feeling it is so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to a 60 grit or I might jump up I might miss the 60 and go on to a higher grit one I don't know what it is hang on One twenty. These are the wheels that I'm on about for my uh, angle grinder. I've got a, uh, I've just done the 40. I've got a 60 and a 120. I'm really tempted to go up to the 120. I'm gonna give it a go. Well, as you can see, I've taken it a bit better, and it's even that 120 has even managed to get rid of a lot of the uh, heavy pitting. So I'm going to finish this off, probably do it off camera because you don't need to sit and watch me doing all that. But just to compare it to the other side, it's getting there. I think I'm going to end up doing a bit of hand sanding on it. Right, so I'm going to carry on with that, and I'll get back to you soon. Right, so I've got it up to 120 grit using the sanding wheels on the angle grinder. Uh, that's as high as I can go with the angle grinder because I don't have any finer grit for it. But up to now, I mean, you know, when you when you shake it in the light, you can see all the marks and what have you. But I'm actually really impressed with that. I didn't think it had come up so well, so quickly. Um, not entirely sure what to do. Uh, I'm probably jumping the gun a bit here, but I think I'm going to go to a bit of wet and dry and see if I can at least get any scratch marks going in the same direction at least. If you want me so I'm gonna set up and get that on get on with that now. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm starting out with a bit of six hundred 
grit, wet and dry sandpaper. Um, I used a bit of multi-purpose oil last time I tried this and it seemed to go well so I'm going to give it another bash. Worst case scenario, wipe it off, wash it off, start again. I mean, clearly this is going to take quite some time, but hopefully with a bit of luck, we will get some results. Right, I think I've jumped the gun a bit too much, to be fair. Um, using the wet and dry does seem to do something but clearly I need to go into a bit more rougher grit first and try and smooth it out a little bit more before the wet and dry so what I'm gonna have to do or just to compare that's the unsanded which I think actually looks a bit friggin better that's the side without wet and dry that's the side with wet and dry well, what I'm going to have to do is put this video on hold for a bit uh, while I get some more various grits of sandpaper. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do.